talking about things that spin is all well and good, but I reckon going for riding one is a whole lot better. Hi, I'm Gary Hearn, I'm a pilot. I'm going to show you how spinning is done Tiger Moth style. The Tiger Moth is a biplane, meaning it's a fixed wing plane with two main wings, and it was first used in the 1930s. In its early days, the Tiger Moth's most important role was as a training plane for combat pilots. But today, people mostly fly them for the sheer fun of it. Tiger Moth's a great aerobatic aircraft, but even before takeoff, they make use of spinning forces. Once its engine started, the propeller spins at about 2,000 revolutions per minute. Unlike a jet plane, which generates forward thrust by pushing air out behind its engines, the Tiger Moth moves forwards due to its propeller. The propeller spinning blades draw air into and past them, which pulls the plane along. Now, to perform some of the amazing aerobatics these planes are known for, a Tiger Moth pilot must have great command of the aircraft's controls. There are two main controls in a Tiger Moth, the joystick and the pedals. The joystick can point the nose of the plane up or down by being moved backwards or forwards, and it can help the plane turn by lifting the tip of either wing. The pedals control the rudder on the tail, which is important for keeping the aircraft balanced. So let's take a closer look at some Tiger Moth aerobatics, starting with the loop. A loop is a vertical circle, and the pilot performs one by moving the stick backwards, which pitches the nose upwards. Loops are one of the simpler maneuvers to do, but can be combined with a range of others. Then there's the straight roll, or aileron roll. In a straight roll, the plane rolls about its axis after the pilot moves the stick hard to one side. And to do a barrel roll, the pilot starts a loop before rolling the plane. Now, because this is a Things That Spin episode, it's about time we examined the Tiger Moth spin. Spinning looks like this, and a pilot spins a Tiger Moth by moving the stick far back and holding the rudder to one side. Altitude is lost quite quickly with this manoeuvre, 700 feet for every three spins. So how do I avoid getting dizzy in a spin? Well, the trick is to look straight ahead and not at either of the wingtips. The more experienced and skilled a Tiger Moth pilot is at performing aerial manoeuvres, the lower the altitude he's able to perform them at, and the more impressive they seem from the ground. So that's how looping, rolling and spinning are done in a Tiger Moth. And it's so much fun, I think I'll go up and do some now. 